Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So yesterday we hit a big milestone here on the channel, 100,000 subscribers. I still cannot even believe it. Just the fact that 100,000 people liked my content enough to click subscribe is mind-blowing to me. I was even shocked when I hit 1,000 subscribers back then, but yeah, I just want to make this video for a few reasons. The main one being to thank everyone who has supported my videos and my channel over the course of its lifetime. I want to thank all the people who have helped out with the Discord servers and my crew. We're currently going through some changes, and we've lost some people, but that doesn't take away from the fact that they've helped out a lot and contributed a lot to the channel. Also, thank you so much to the very generous people who have donated through Super Chat on my live streams. All of you guys are what got my channel to this point in the first place. I would not have 100,000 subscribers without you guys. As far as a special video goes for 100k, I'm open to suggestions from you guys. I could do like a Q&A or a look back at some of my older videos, things like that. I would rather pick something that you guys would want to see rather than just me picking something myself. So please let me know in the comment section. I know a lot of people are going to say face reveal, but chances are that isn't going to happen anytime soon. I would just prefer to keep that to myself as of now. You know, maybe later down the line I could do that for a future milestone or something. The last thing I want to do in this video is just kind of a heart-to-heart -heart discussion about YouTube. And you know, maybe this could be an inspiration for some of you out there who want to start a channel yourself. So my very first videos of GT Online on this channel were just simple game clips with no commentary at all. And this is before I even had a laptop, so I was uploading clips directly from the Xbox One. Now, were they the most professionally done videos? No, not even, not even close. But the point was that I had fun and enjoyed uploading and sharing them. Shortly after that I got, I think it was like a $400 laptop. It wasn't anything special. You know, it wasn't a gaming laptop. It was just a simple notebook laptop. But that laptop allowed me to finally be able to edit videos. I was using Movie Maker and Paint.net for thumbnails. It was completely free software. It didn't cost me anything. And at that time, I was also using the internal recording of the Xbox One. I did not have a capture card. Those were way too expensive for me at that time. Eventually, I picked up a USB flash drive, which allowed me to record for up to an hour on the Xbox One. And that was about like $20. It wasn't that much. And guys, I was using this setup, just a laptop, a generic Turtle Beach headset, and a USB with internal recording features on the Xbox until around like 80,000 subscribers. After that, I felt comfortable enough to finally upgrade to what I have now, which is the typical YouTube setup with a capture card, gaming PC, stuff like that. But the point I'm trying to make with this story is that you don't really need expensive equipment to be successful on YouTube. You don't need the top of the line stuff to make good videos. You know, if you're dedicated and just like making videos, then you'll find a way to make them. Now, was I lucky to grow on YouTube? I guess a little bit, but I feel like you can't attribute everything to luck, man. Even outside of YouTube, you can't attribute success to luck. Unless you literally win the lottery, then I guess you could. I feel like it's more about your attitude towards whatever you're working for, the kind of person you are, and how passionate you are about it. I feel like that's more the determining factor on how successful you are rather than just luck. Over the course of doing YouTube, I've also learned so much that I wouldn't have otherwise learned. Things like managing a community, you know, the whole business side of YouTube, computer software. Schools, they can teach you some things, but there's just something about experiencing it that makes it much more worthwhile. Just like going through the experience and learning yourself, teaching yourself how to do things. Also, with the community aspect, I've had the chance to talk to lots of different people, both fans of mine and other YouTubers. And as a YouTuber, I can say the most satisfying thing, to me at least, are the messages and comments that I get saying that, you know, hey, I really enjoyed this, or hey, this is very helpful, thank you for making this, because from the start, that was really what I wanted to achieve with this channel. I wanted to make content that people could learn something useful out of. Anyways, thank you guys so much for supporting and continuing to support the channel. I know I just went on kind of a long tangent there, but really, it does have to do with this video because I wouldn't have been able to experience a lot of that stuff if it wasn't for you guys. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like, as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP related content. Make sure to let me know what you guys would be interested in for a special 100k video in the comments section down below. And as always, thanks for watching, have a great day.